All right, welcome to another episode of Astro Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? We got a 98 Infinity I-30. Uh, we got some issues. Um, vehicle cranks, starts, but only spring ether. Um, a new motor, another motor was put in. Wiring harness. Um, what else was put in? Uh, Let me introduce you, what's your name? Tony. This is Tony. He's down at, hey, what's the name of the shop? M&K Great Auto. M&K? Great Auto. M&K Great Auto right here on Church Street. North Church. North Church Street. Matter of fact, there's a nice car out there. I like that car. <laughs> All right, um, what else did we do to it? We put a new crank sensor, new cam sensor, and a steam rail, and a new plug, wire on starter. All of them Dang. We're going to check the fuse box. All the fuse boxes. Everything is good. From what I said, a lot of people, some people, some, somebody told you it could have been a pinched wire. That's why you yeah. changed the wiring harness. Uh, some people said it could be the computer. It needs to be reprogrammed or rebooted. But when we spray it, the vehicle does start up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check injector pulse. We want to see if the computer is sending a signal to the injectors, which is going to give us an indication that the computer is doing its job. Then if it is, we know it's getting sparked, it's starting up. Then we're going to go pull up a wiring harness, which I already did. We're going to check the fuel uh, pump relay, which is located on the left kick panel. So it could be that. But um, let's get that hooked up with some Noid lights and we'll come right back. All right, we got our Noid light kit, ATD5612. Get you a set. We're gonna find the right Noid light. And what this is gonna tell us is that the computer, is the computer sending the signal to the injectors, which it probably is, but I need to know whether the computer's working. I'm just gonna plug this up. Let's get a closer look at this. No, no, I'm gonna bring the camera right over here. All right, now we got the noise light hooked up, and what we're gonna do is have somebody crank it, and this light should flash. All right, let's crank it up. <laughs> you said you had. Okay, no, don't. Okay, stop. Let's make sure we got a good connection over here. That's not good. Let's uh, let's get us a, a test light and test this. All right, here we go. Plug from the injector. One side should be hot as soon as the key go on. The other side should pulse ground. Let me know the computer is sending the signal. All right. So what you do is put the key on. Turn it on. No, don't crank it. Just put the key in the uh, on position. Okay, good. Now, what I want you to do is crank it. Okay, good. All right. So the computer is not working. Not good. So now we're gonna figure out what's going on with the computer. We're gonna put up a wiring harness, wiring diagram and check the power, the fuses, and everything that's going to the computer and see what's going on. All right, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna check all the fuses. Especially you got a 30 amp fuse that's controlling all the, the engine controls. Let's look up under here, make sure. Okay, there we go right there, let's put the key on. Now, it's pretty much best to get you a power probe, test how it works. I like using a power probe. Um, what you want to do, test all the fuses up here, and up under the dash down there. Alright. 
I just want to check out something here. You know, usually uh, the check engine light will come on when you put the key on, and it's not. So that's going. That's another indication right there. So let's check that out. Let's check these fuses, and we'll be right back. Okay, we gotta take a look at something right here. On this fuse panel, I don't know what's going on, but according to the diagram, this fuse right here, the, with a 25, 30, and across here, those are supposed to be 7.5 amps, and something right, man. something just ain't right here. Okay, if we look down at our legend, we got the 7.5 here. 7.5 here and it looks like battery voltage so it should be hot and then we have a 7.5 here starting signal so that that could be uh wow you know let's uh let's look at the wiring diagram and we could, let's see uh what the heck is going on here where those go to This is not gonna be. This is not gonna be fun. All right, let's let's find out where those three go to, because uh, that that that's definitely an issue. It looks like somebody has some put some 25 amp and a 30 amp fuse in there. So, uh, oh boy. All right, we just figured out something very important here. We got a fuse that's out. Fuse number 33, it's supposed to be a 7.5 amp. It's gone, right there. Now the bad part, part about this is that we got two other fuses here that's supposed to be 7.5 amp. And uh, those are some big fuses, like they were being blown, like they were blown or something. They go into the exterior lights. So if I cut the lights on, Those should have been hot. There we go. There we go, perfect. But, we got a problem with this one over here. All right, let's get us a fuse in there and see what's going on. All right, we're back. Um, what we did, a, a quick test you can do on these cars is to make sure the computer's working. You put the key in the on position and the check engine light should come on. We noticed that it, it did not do that. Uh, the, as, they said, as, as they said before, the harness was changed. Here's the old harness. Well, the original harness. And we got the one in here. We got the computer that came with this harness and we got the computer that came with that harness. Uh, what I did was took off, there's some plastic covers on this, took them off. And matched up the wires, the, the color of the wires, and we noticed they're different. And that could definitely do it, especially when this harness goes into the body control module. It goes into the anti-theft system. Um, so what we got to do now, because uh, right now, with this computer hooked up to this harness, the fuel pump comes on, but we still got no injector pulse, which means that the system just could be in, in a theft mode right now. And uh, so what we got to do here, we got to put back the original wiring harness, plug up the original computer, and then we go from there. Then we're going to make sure the fuel pump comes on, then we're going to check inject the post again, and uh, see what we get. There was a fuse missing, a 7.5 amp, out of the uh, fuse box, as you, as you know, back in the, check back in the video. And you'll see that, and that does go to the anti-theft, and it does go to the um, computer. So that's a definite right there. So, uh, yeah. This is going to be part one after, after they put the harness back in. Um, more than likely, the vehicle won't start. So we're going to come back, and we're going to check that out. And uh, see what's going on. This is definitely interesting. <laughs> Challenging. This is Timmy from Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, 
Nobody can. <laughs>